Uh, my name is Jordan Adani. I'm designer, creative director, and founder um, of Modern Vice. Everything for me starts with passion and lots of love. I live in my boots. You know, I'm a guy who wears boots. Winter, summer, spring, fall, it doesn't matter. I think boots are just essential to anyone's wardrobe, whether it's a woman or a man. Um, I think it completes the package. I think a good pair of boots uh, makes you feel a certain way, gives you a certain amount of confidence. And to me, it's like the ultimate uh, accent you know, piece. You know, I find boots to be that powerful. And uh, you know, when you're designing things, you can have a lot of fun with boots too. Modern Vice actually started as a sneaker company. Uh, my brother and I were doing sneakers and we were doing it the traditional way, which was uh, importing them, design it, you know, designing them here in New York, but importing them from overseas. And we just were never happy with the result. And it just took so much time. And, and then one thing led to another. Once we started to get into the factory and play around with different ideas, we just were so drawn into uh, boot making. We were talking about like what um, you know shoes are, and I guess we came to the conclusion that most people, man or woman, you know, have uh, that are into fashion that care about you know what they wear. They have you know shoes are almost like their vice. I happen to be a big fan of the '80s, and Miami Vice was in my head, and I was like, okay, cool, modern vice. And, you know, we get messages from people um, all over the world t you know, telling us that they bring out this, this vibe and this energy and this creative kind of um, feeling. And, you know, I think our boots uh, really do do that. When I put on a pair of my boots, I definitely feel, you know, this edgy and, and, and rock and roll kind of vibe that I feel in my heart and soul. You know, we're very popular uh, with musicians. I mean, like, I can't even tell you how many just musicians naturally, organically find this brand, get drawn into the shoes, whether it be just the little details, the studs or harness or certain material usage. It's a classic man's tailored um, thing, but definitely if you had to define it, I think it would be rock and roll, you know, edginess and music is a big, big part of what we do. Um, every shoe is completely inspired by, by artists, uh, you know, musicians and music that we listen to every day. If you looked at my phone, you would think it was a madman. I mean, just complete sketches and diagrams and inspiration and list upon list of just thought out like product ideas, everything from who's gonna wear it at the end and the content piece. Sometimes I go backwards from the content piece to the actual product and, you know, so it's just, um, you know, it's a never ending process of just uh, thinking about this stuff 24 hours a day. You know, I, I'm, I'm walking around the streets, I'm looking at people's shoes all day. And then from there, it, you come in, work with my design team. I have a great team that I work with. We, we've been working together for years upon years upon years. We, we really know how to take an idea and sketch it out. One of the advantages of the factory is that we take the shoe last, which is the most important part. I happen to spend a lot of time developing last. I only developed the last in Italy, um, which I think gives our shoes such an amazing shape that uh, and also keeps them comfortable. We're experts in comfort. And then we come in, we tape up the last, we go through the ideas, we sketch some lines on it, and then we start making it into um, you know, something that can be represented in three-dimensionally. And then we work with the pattern maker, I work with the pattern maker, we spec it all out, everything from the thread to the color of the threads to, to the zipper tape to, I mean, we're obsessive about it to the point where we might lose money doing it. <laughs> but you can't put a price on art, you know? And we really see all of these shoes, or at least I see all of these shoes as um, almost like art pieces, you know? And I think a lot of people do. We're very careful with the leather. You know, I think uh, a big thing people don't realize is over half the shoe, even 80% of the shoe is, what is it? It's the leather. You know, you have the design, you have the sole, you have the outsole, the insole, whatever. But the, the thing that you see the most of is the leather, but not only aesthetically, also um, comfort-wise. I think people underestimate how important it is, like which leathers you use, the weight of the leather. Really, how thick does that make the shoe? How does it make it feel? Is it, it's also, is it structure that it gives you? Is it give you the right um, give? you know, in certain parts of your foot that you really need it to. So is it tough enough to, to withstand the elements? Is it soft enough to be comfortable on your foot? I don't think most people think about these things anymore. Uh, we do. We got a lot of great stuff here that's just over the years. These are some new uh, men's designs we're just working on. Sometimes we have men who want um, kind of a more like, you know, bulkier, you know, rugged or, you know, more rugged maybe look. Um, to the shape or to the leather or to the sole, you know, just some snake loafers. This one is just totally amazing. We used to run this and this is like an oiled um, suede from Italy. This will give you height, <laughs> a lot of height. You know, everyone has a chucker, right? But we, we made a moto chucker 
you know, a long time ago. We always think about someone running around the city, running around LA, running around Manhattan, running around Paris, running around uh, London. Like that's always in our mind because that really is who she is and who he is. This is my worn Jodford boot. This is what they look like after, you know, two years of wearing this shoe down. But like, you know, I love that it brings out this gray and the oil comes out of it. And the more you wear it, I have so many people come in and, or they see mine and they're like, could you make mine look like that, you know? So one thing that we do um, for men's is we take measurements like this, old school. Nothing fancy, but it works. We, we sketch their foot. So we make sure that it's gonna be a perfect, perfect fit. Everyone always asks what my favorite boots are, and um, I always say this, and I have a son. Um, it's like kids, you know, to me. You know, you can't have a favorite kid. Because we're made to order and we don't waste a lot of money on inventory positions or crazy materials or get tied into one style that we're just stuck with, it does cause wait times. And uh, you know, we feel horrible when it goes past the windows that we say. And our intention is to, to make people happy through shoes and to make them feel good and to make them feel special. There is not one product out there at this price that anyone could show me that is even comparable. And I, I could really safely say that.